thought about this, there was only really one thing that came to my mind. Uh, it was something that happened uh, when they first met. So they were both members of the Y near Square One. And I didn't really know Marcus that well. And uh, I drove Karen to the Y and she said she's meeting Marcus there. So I'm sitting waiting to see if this guy's gonna actually show up and I don't wanna leave my daughter standing at the Y. And uh, so I'm looking, I, I pull the car back like mothers do, you know, a few rows back and I'm watching Karen and I'm waiting to see if this guy's gonna come. Marcus comes around the corner and uh, all of a sudden his eyes looked up, he saw Karen and his face lit up. And all I could think was, oh my God, this guy really likes my daughter. That's all I could think. Oh my God, who is he? Because he was just beaming and he didn't see me. He was looking at Karen, was like, ooh. And I went, ooh, <laughs> what the hell? But anyway, it was at that point that I realized, and it was just from the expression on your face, that you really liked Karen. And this was like, oh my God. So, getting back to the task at hand, we are here to celebrate Karen's marriage to Heisenberg. <laughs> which, is, which is a funny motif for him to emulate because he, has, he doesn't do any drugs or drink any alcohol. Which, which to me is astonishing because having spent this much time with my sister and mother, I would think that... I'm told that each table has a different theme this evening. Is that true? I, I didn't see that. I just saw one theme and it was nerd. That was the only theme that, I, that I've seen. It's as, if, it's as if a spoiled child was trying to choose a theme for its birthday party and their parents just said, well, you can have them all. You can have them all. So Marcus, I'm so lucky that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to join with you and share all that is to come, to be your faithful wife, to give and to receive, to speak and to listen, to inspire and to respond. This will be a commitment made of love and life. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you for as long as I both shall live. 
I love you more than anything, and I'm so lucky to have you. I know this is a cliche, but I'm so lucky to be marrying my best friend. And I vow to love you even when you force me to watch random movies on Netflix. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I vow to join you in this journey as your wife with an open heart and make even the smallest of our accomplishments into exciting parts of our lives together. Please rise. Karen, I'd love to tell you that when we first met 14 years ago that I knew we'd be standing here eventually. The truth is, we're here because we've worked hard to make it happen. From living apart to living together, we've faced challenges, but we've always faced them together. And the truth is, there's nobody that I'd rather have in my corner. You're the most ambitious, self-actualizing person I've ever met. And on top of it all, you've got a great big heart. I'm so happy we fell in love, and I can't believe how lucky I am. I promise to always love you, to come running to save the day when that one wire you left behind despite leaving it out specifically so you wouldn't forget it, ended up staying home. To not wander too far away while shopping. And to continue to explain every joke I make in the hope that someday you might actually get it. <laughs> Most importantly, I promise to stand by your side wherever life takes us, from one end of the earth to the other. To quietly and sometimes loudly be your biggest cheerleader rooting and hoping for your success and there in your corner to help plan the rebounds when things don't go your way. And above all other things, I promise to love you till death do us part. Karen is intelligent, funny, well-spoken, and simply a great person. Karen, I feel we welcomed you to our family some time ago. Today, it's official. <laughs> Movies often describe the idea of true love, sometimes cheesy, sometimes overdone. But it would be no word of a lie if I didn't say that Marcus and Karen were the relationship that made me believe that the idea of soulmates truly existed. As I watched this relationship blossom, a relationship so strong it spanned different schools, different cities, and even at times different continents, that I could think of no better partner for my best friend to spend the rest of his life with. And so I just want everyone to raise their glass with me as we toast the new bride and groom, as we say congratulations, and for the second time tonight, it's about time. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. I love you both. I need to say how appreciative I am of Pat and Mike, which is Marcus's parents right from the get-go. They have accepted Marcus into their family. They've looked out for her. Have another, Ma. <laughs> too, too much wine, okay. Sorry, let's try this again. <laughs> 